Welcome back to the channel for another video on a 22 WRX. Today we're not actually going to be working on my car. If you do remember, in a couple videos ago we did install some Cusco parts on the rear end. We did have to remove the lower differential carrier uh, aftermarket torque solution bushing to replace it with the full Cusco replacement. So today I have the same white WRX that we've been working on in a couple previous videos with a Ray Motorsports intercooler on it um, with the intake and everything. Um, we're actually going to be installing the rear differential carrier bushings on that car. So he's about to pull up. We're going to swap cars around. We're going to get his car jacked up. I'll catch up with you guys once we got his car in the garage. Let's go. All right, so we got the car in the garage. We're about to get it jacked up. We just did this in the previous video, but let's do a quick refresher. To jack up the back of the car, first thing we're going to want to do is get our jack under. And we're going to want to jack on the rear diff. You don't want to go on the cover because you could damage the cover. Just go right on the housing. All right, with the car jacked up and our jack stands underneath the car, you can see I already got our wrench right here. This is a 17 socket, so 17 on both sides and then two on the bottom. So let's get that taken off and we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison with the Torque Solution bushing and the OEM setup. Let's go. All right, we have our rear diff cradle out. You can see our stock one right here with the stock bushing on the left side. You can see these openings here. That is what this bushing fills up on both sides. So we're just gonna go ahead and throw mine in since everything's already done. And we can just put this one to the side and we'll get this one installed. All right, with everything nice and tight, we're gonna go on our first drive and see how stiff this is. But before that, we're gonna get a quick cold start in. This does have a Blouch Turbo upgrade and it has the Cobb cat back. So let me get you guys set up. And we'll get a cold start in. Let's go. We're about to pull out once traffic clears up, but we're gonna try to feel this one, two, and what it feels like. And the exhaust has some nice burbles. And we're also rocking my OG shifter in this car, still rocking like a champ. All right, we're gonna see what this Blouch Turbo feels like. All right, after that quick little drive, we're gonna pull back into the house. That about wraps up our video. All right, so we made it back to the house. How'd you think first impressions were with that small change? Yeah, with that small change, you honestly feel a good difference from, you know, shifting between the gears. You definitely had a small difference there. There you go. So that's a no brainer for 20 bucks. I'm going to have the link below so you guys can purchase this if you like. But other than that, have a good day. See you next time.